What is happening guys, it's Neo here from the Panther Products Team channel bringing you another Diablo 3 gameplay. So in this gameplay we're going to be looking at um, how to get the Platinum Trophy for Diablo 3 and a little bit around the Demon Hunter. Now I decided to make a Demon Hunter class just to see what all the, the fuss was about as I know a lot of people have said that this is the highest damaging character in the game. Um, however, I have found that it's also probably one of the weakest characters in the game as well, since I seem to die a lot using it. Um, it's got a variety of skills um, that you can use. So we've got the X for the crossbow. I've set up um, circle for like a turret thing that heals you. Um, R1 sends a rain of fire of arrows down in, in an area. Um, R2 uses your Fury which is the orange meter on the left in the bottom left. So firing that reduces that. Um, and then certain skills will take up the blue one which is um, you kind of like mana points for that one. So we're going to just go through the trophy guide today um, and hopefully give you some hints and tips on how to do certain things in Diablo 3 and help you get that platinum. Now I platinum this um, a few days ago, um, I played along with my friend Simon, um, so I highly recommend that you do play this co-op because not only is it a fun game to play co-op, um, also co-op really helps you out with getting certain challenges done um, and stuff like that. So the first um, trophy that you're going to get, you'll get throughout the game anyway, so a lot of the first few trophies will require you just to reach a certain level, so level 10, 30 and 60. Um, the hardcore one can take a little bit of time, um, with the hardcore one you only get one life, so if you die then that means your character is finished, kaput, you won't be able to use it again. Now if you have PlayStation Plus, or you're able to save um, your save files to a memory stick, what I suggest you do is if you're playing hardcore mode put it on the easiest setting on normal and play through the game as you would but once you've reached like a, a certain level like level 5, level 10 um, and then however careful you want to be with it so every other level up or every level up quit the game save your save data to a memory stick and then go back into the game that way if, it, if you die you can literally load up from where you last saved it so it's a really good tip to get that trophy and it makes it a lot easier because you have then in effect infinite lives so these trophies um, below are all about killing certain bosses on certain difficulties so most of them require you to kill them on normal and inferno so we're just going to scroll down a little to um, the Diablo ones. Diablo is the only one that you'll need to kill on each of the four difficulties. So you'll have to beat him in normal mode, nightmare mode, howl mode and inferno mode. So complete all of Act 1, complete all of Act 2, complete all of Act 3, complete all of Act 4 or your other trophies so you'll get them anyway. Um, these trophies here that have the stars on it so these are all the triumph trophies for each of the bosses now you will be able to complete each of these challenges on either hell or inferno mode um, and what you'll need to do um, for this is a great tip is if you do have a co-op partner who's a lot higher level than you or if you have a co-op partner that's the same level as you um, is get each of you to take turns in killing the boss itself so one of you will literally stay back and try and avoid at all costs being killed by everything or being hit by anything and everything. This will almost guarantee that you'll get all of the um, triumph trophies or challenges straight off the bat. Now I'm just going to load up uh, my challenge ones and just go through with um, talk you through a bit about each one. So instant karma, you won't need to do this one because that's part of the Skeleton King. So they all start on the Butcher. So the Butcher, you'll need to kill the Butcher while he's stunned by his own charge attack in Nightmare Mode or higher. Oh, so you can do these in Nightmare Mode. Um, some of them you'll have to do in Hell Mode. So kill Belial without dying and without getting hit by his projectile or meteor attacks. Um, 
killed 10 veiled sentinels in the first 30 seconds of starting the fight with Belial in nightmare mode or higher. Um, kill Belial without getting hit by his fist attack. Evacuate 20... Oh, there, that's not part of the, um, the Belial one. Right, so let's go to the um, Triumph Trophies. So, the one for um, the Butcher is basically don't stand in fire, don't get hit by the fire. Um, a brief butchering is you have to kill the Butcher within a certain time limit. I believe it's 35 seconds possibly, I could be wrong. Um, and the Stunning Reversal is obviously kill, kill the Butcher while he's been stunned by his charge attack. The one for um, Belial... Again, it's basically just don't get hit by anything and kill all the, the sentinel snakes um, as quickly as you can so that you can get that challenge. That may require um, a, double a double playthrough to get that one. For the Asmodean one, um, again, this one's killing them quick and not getting hit. So you might have to do this ch um, sort of challenge twice so that you get all of them. So you're not allowed to make Asmodon have any reinforcements. Again, hot food and be cool. It's again avoiding certain attacks that he does. And Asmodon adds again, it's just about killing him quick. This one can take two to three times uh, facing Diablo to get these trophies. So the uncaged one is literally don't get trapped by his cage attack, which is where he hits the floor. Um, and then claws come out of the ground and try and trap you. They're easy to dodge, so it's not difficult of a challenge to do. And um, there can only be one. Um, that one is about killing five of the um, shadow puppet things that he spawns when he's in the shadow realm. Again, this is, there's a bug with this that I found that um, when we played for it the first time, we killed five, and the challenge didn't um, register that we'd done it. Have, however, if you do it a second time and just kill one or two, um, it will then trigger the, the challenge. I don't know why this happens, but this, this one will require um, a second um, boss battle. And the self-sufficient one, this one again is quite a difficult one to do because it requires you not to pick up any health globes or, or whatever um, when fighting Diablo. So the easiest way I found to do this was um, literally take off all the equipment I had that um, increased the range uh, or radius of the pickup of gold and health globes. This will mean that you physically have to walk over a, a health globe to pick it up, which gives you more chance of avoiding them um, if they do spawn. Now again, if you're doing this with two players, I highly recommend that one of you stay well back and have a long range fighter. Um, and the other one, if if they are like a, a barbarian like um, Simp was, that they just be careful when fighting it that they don't pick up any of the health globes. I mean, this one can be done um, in one go. It's it's not too difficult, but it's one that's that you can easily make a mistake with. So I hope that's um, taught you a few tips and some tricks around those trophies. So let's go back into Diablo 3 trophy list and have a look at the other ones. So this one is about equipping a rare item, so you get these throughout the game and you can also buy them from the uh, the shops or blacksmith one, so pretty self-explanatory and easy. The legendary one um, is equipped in an orange item, so again you'll find these from the little treasure goblins or whatever you want to call them. They sometimes drop um, unidentified items or you sometimes get them from the yellow coloured enemies. Um, if you get one of them, if you just tap square to identify it, um, it you guarantee to get an orange item. So again, it's pretty easy to get one. So Arm to the Teeth is equipped in all um, your character with a, a level 25 items or more. Again, you get this throughout the game. It's dead easy once you've passed level 25 to do this. So don't worry too much about that. Prepared for Battle is equipped in all um, slots with level 60 gear. Now this one can be a bit of a grind. 
Um, the only way that you ever pick up level 60 gear is through the treasure goblins and um, certain bosses. I believe Diablo is another one that allows you to get level 60 gear, but it's it's a very, very um, uncommon drop. Um, so you may need to farm for this. Um, the best way I did this was um, if you do have a co-op partner it's basically just gear swap and if they've got level 60 gear in certain slots and you've got the level 60 gear in other slots basically just trade each other the ones that you need get the trophy and then give them their items back alternatively you could use um, one of the special rings in the game that I'll show you now that's called the puzzle ring So the puzzle ring um, allows a goblin to spawn um, if you get hit there's a slight chance that it will spawn so a, a good way to farm these is to um, get you get yourself or your friend to create a save um, you give them the ring they make a save they give you the ring back then they load up their other save they, they transfer the save back again from the memory stick to the, the PS3 give you another ring and then do this four times till you, till you both got like four rings for example and then you're pretty much sorted and and you've got a higher that then chance of spawning the goblins and this is also useful for a trophy later on and um, that will cover and um, for the goblin trophy so let's go back into the trophy list So the comfort of strangers, so you'll need to recruit the Templar, Scoundrel and Enchantress. So again this one's dead easy, you just go up to each of them in any of the towns and just make sure that they follow you. This one is um, fully equipped in or you follow, or one of your followers, so again once they've reached level 25 you can pretty much give them um, the entire slot's worth of gear, so that's pretty easy. The Art of Conversation is quite a grindy one, so again you'll probably find that playing through the game you'll get this, um, but it can be quite easily missed and certain things. So what you have to do with the Art of Conversation is speak to every single um, non-playable character in the game and make sure you listen to each of the conversation slots that happen. Now certain conversations only happen at certain times so you can miss a conversation so um, you may need to replay certain acts to get those conversations um, to appear in your list. Um, so use the repair to repair an item again pretty self explanatory. You're just going to repair an item at the blacksmith. Um, shut up and take my money is about buying a, one of each item from um, the merchants. Now again this one's quite a grindy trophy so you may need to go around and, and get a lot of money um, for this one. Now a, a good tip um, again is using the um, sort of memory stick save sort of cheaty way as I would call it is to if if one of you guys have got like um, a character with lots of money so say I know 100,000 400,000 whatever um, is to save your game to a memory stick give all your money to your friend and um, then load up your save game give your money to your friend again and then it stacks and stacks and stacks so you both get um, or he'll get a lot a lot of money and then he can share it with you so it gives you enough gold between you to get all the um, or gradable trophies and, and stuff. So Bejeweled is um, pretty simple, it's combined gems, so once you've unlocked the jeweler as you go through the game, you just gotta combine two gems that you pick up off the floor to get a better gem and then you get a trophy. Craft five items, again self-explanatory, um, you do this through the forge and the guy, the blacksmith, so you just create five items. Um, so raise the, the blacksmith to level 10. Now you will need inferno mode for this um, because some of the pages that require you to upgrade the blacksmith can only be uh, obtained in op inferno mode. Same with the um, jeweler. So they require quite a bit of gold to upgrade as well so I highly recommend using the tip that I gave you about um, transferring all your gold after making a save slot in a memory stick and just constantly getting more money that way. Deep Pockets is quite an easy one to get, however it's one of those trophies that's a bit of a grind. Um, it's basically you pick up gold 
from fallen enemies um this does not count if you trade gold over so if you've if you're doing the um the sort of cheat way of getting loads and loads of gold that i've just mentioned earlier um this will not count towards this trophy so you will need to go and um find uh, gold from enemies now a good tip to help you out with this is um, to increase the gold pickup uh, radius of your character a lot and also if you're using a demon hunter to use the ability that um, with the ferrets now if you use the ferrets they will um, allow you a chance to get more gold from enemies that are killed or if they kill them as well you get more chance of gold and they pick up gold for you now one of the hardest trophies is this one, is pick up 5 million gold. Now as you can see my timestamp got a bit screwed up there because I didn't get that trophy, didn't pop for me. So I don't know if it was a glitch in the game or what but I, got, I seem to got that after I got this one. So what I had to do was make a new character which is why I made the Demon Hunter and I had to get that one again which was a bit of a ball ache. Um, but to get the 500 um, gold one, you're going to have to do a lot, a lot of grinding. And this one can take a good part of probably 60 hours plus. Um, a good tip on doing this is to play through Act 3 and 2, um, respectively. The, the desert one where you're with that um, ghost that you're trying to resurrect. Is it Krull or something like that? Um, and then the other one is when you're going to kill Asmodan and there's loads of um, enemies on the sort of castle walls and stuff. And they're, they, they seem to be the best ones for reaping the gold. Alternatively you can go into the rifts and stuff on Act 4 where you're going to kill Diablo and they seem to yield quite a bit of gold per run through. Um, however the quickest way to do it is by far going on Inferno but you do risk dying quite a fair bit. Um, so you got to weigh up whether or not it's going to be worth you dying a few times um, and taking a little longer to pick up the, the lo a lot of gold or going through on an easy difficulty and picking up tons of gold without well little bit of gold without dying sort of thing um, space a little space so again that one's just upgrading your stash again you'll need to be a certain level before you can upgrade it to the max I believe you need um, a maximum of 1 million gold to be able to fully upgrade it from start to finish. The final upgrade costs 500,000 so again if you want to use that little cheap way of getting extra gold for nothing with a friend um, I highly recommend you do it because it just makes this trophy a hell of a lot easier. So the elitist is kill 500 elites so champion rare or unique um, enemies so again you get this throughout the game anyway so all this requires you to do is kill the blue named enemies the orange named enemies and certain unique enemies that pop around like treasure goblins and stuff like that so this brings us to one of the most grindy trophies you'll ever come across other than the five million pickup because that probably is the worst grindy trophy in this game so kill a hundred goblins now as I said before to get the level 60 gear I taught you a trick about how to get the um, goblins to appear more so you can get the level 60 gear again this will sort of work hand in hand with that so get your friend to save a game um, with that puzzle ring and then just keep sort of transferring one over to you every time until you've got four so he can have two you can have two and then you've got more chance of getting a goblin every time you get hit um, so this one can be quite a bit of a grinder, it took us about an hour or two to get them. Um, but however you do seem to come across a lot if you play through the story mode anyway. So um, it shouldn't take you too long but it's one of those ones that is kind of a bit of a grind. Um, and the never seen that before one is literally kill an enemy on the list um, of things that you'll find here if we go to challenges and then up to triumphs You know what, I can't even remember which one it's in. 
But anyway, on on one of those um, challenge things, there's there's a list of enemies that pop up with who you need to kill to get that trophy. Again, you shouldn't have any difficulty getting that once, providing that you just explore everywhere and just go into all the different caves and stuff. You will eventually come across one of the enemies and you'll kill it and you'll get the trophy. Um, I'm all about out of time now, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Um, I hope it makes it a little bit easier for you to get the Diablo 3 trophy. It's a brilliant game and it's really worth the, the platinum and, and the hard work that you'll put into getting it. If you need any help or if you've got any comments that you want to ask then please feel free to drop them in the comments box below. Please give us a like and um, subscribe to us if you enjoyed the videos and want to see more videos that we've done. And as always we'll see you in the next video. Take care.